Hi everyone, this is Sarah at Health by Sarah. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the reasons that vegetable oils are really harmful to our health. First of all, I want to mention Sally Fallon Morell, the, the president of the Weston A. Price Foundation. She has a really great talk out there called The Oiling of America, and I'll link to that below, of course. It talks all about the history of vegetable oils, how they came into the American diet, and um, how and why we were scared away from eating our traditional fats like lard and butter in this country. And um, it's, it's just a really great talk. Um, so what am I talking about when I say vegetable oils? I'm referring to the oils that, um, that are very prevalent in the American diet that we can easily buy at every store, every grocery store out there um, that's in pretty much every restaurant and many processed foods. And those fats would be corn, cottonseed oil, canola, soybean, sunflower, safflower, grapeseed, rice bran, peanut oil, margarines, um, just any fake or butter substitutes out there um, have at least one of these oils um, in them. And they, um, as I said, they're just, um, they're really hard to avoid. Um, they're in like almost all processed foods. Um, anytime you go out to eat, unless it's a very particular special restaurant, um, uses vegetable oils just because they're really cheap to use. Um, for restaurants and for food manufacturers, that's what it comes down to. They're trying to just um, maximize their profits, really. So um, why are they unhealthy though? Um, first of all, because they're very unnatural. Um, you wouldn't be able to make vegetable oils in your own kitchen. You would have to make them in a factory because it is a many-step manufacturing process and it requires heavy machinery and chemicals to extract. Um, in, in manufacturing, they use high heat and they use chemicals like hexane to extract the oils. Um, and they, they deodorize and bleach it. Um, it's just, it's not something that really sounds appealing, does it? Uh, and secondly, they are, um, there's three types of fats. There's saturated fats, monounsaturated fats, and polyunsaturated fats. And the ones that I just talked about are mostly polyunsaturated fatty acids, and they are very unstable oils, very prone to rancidity um, and oxidation. So um, once you have oxidation, it can create free radicals, and when we consume free radicals, it um, when we consume free radicals, those are the kind of things that can cause cancer in our bodies. So that's something we definitely want to avoid. It also, um, all of these oils come in clear bottles and once they have reached the store and especially once they come into our homes and we cook with them, um, they're probably already rancid because um, light is able to get into the bottle from it being clear um, and because the light is able to go in it's causing oxidation and rancidity and so you're already cooking with rancid fats or um, when you when you expose these fats to heat they become rancid as well so one great example is uh, fish oils they're healthy for us right like um, at least 
we get them to get um, higher omega-3 fatty acids to omega-6 fatty acids um, in wild-caught fish like cod liver oil. So we wouldn't want to cook with cod liver oil or another fish oil because it would go rancid and that would basically uh, be pointless why we would even consume it then. Um, and that's my next point with vegetable oils is they're very high in omega-6 fatty acids and we're always advised to get a higher omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acid ratio on our diets because the American diet is way too high in omega-6 fatty acids. Um, and that is really because of the high consumption of vegetable oils in our diet. If we go out to eat, if we eat processed foods, if we have vegetable oils in our home, if we're not cooking with healthier fats, then we're getting a ton of omega-6 fatty acids in our diets. And um, that's just something that we really need to avoid. And if we cooked with healthier fats, I honestly believe that a lot of the health problems in our society would um, diminish. We'd just be healthier as a society. Um, which fats do I think are the healthiest then? Um, animal fats, like lard. Um, this is actually lard that my husband rendered in our own kitchen. It's from pasture-raised pigs. Um, we actually have a couple of videos uh, showing how to render it, and it's very simple to do. Uh, another one is tallow, which is rendered from beef fat, and you always want to get it from healthy animals, of course, because um, a lot of where the toxins are deposited in the animals are in the fat. So you definitely don't want to be eating fat from a conventional animal. You want to eat it from a healthy pasture-raised animal. Another great cooking fat is duck, goose, and, and chicken fats. Um, all of these animal fats I mentioned are higher, um, they're more stable and they have higher smoke points than others. Um, also butter. This is a brand that I've been getting from the store for, for several months now and I usually just wait until they go on sale but it's from grass-fed cows. This is from Finland. Um, if you can get um, an affordable one that's not from Finland, um, let me know because I'd rather buy something more locally, of course. Um, but this one has been very affordable, especially when it goes on sale. And um, I know uh, Kerrygold is one that you might want to avoid. Also, I mentioned ghee. Um, ghee has a really high smoke point. It's like 425 degrees. So you could actually cook it much higher temperatures with that. Um, but butter, you actually wouldn't want to fry with it because it'll um, it'll start to burn and that's something you want to avoid of course because that's when fats start to go rancid past their smoke points. So you won't really want to use this more for baking. Also coconut oil is an excellent fat. It helps people with weight loss. Um, it's just an all-around great fat. It can, um, you can use it to fry with because it has a higher smoke point as well. Um, it's 92% saturated fat. This brand is called Perium, and I do have a discount code for you guys. Um, it's helped by Sarah. I'll link to that below as well. Um, palm oil is a really great cooking fat. Just make sure if you use it to get sustainable palm oil. Olive oil is great. You don't really want to cook with it though because it has a lower smoke point, but it's still really great for your health. But I just recommend using it more in raw dishes like salads. Um, this is a really affordable brand. It's the California Olive Ranch and you can even find it at Walmart. So you can get pretty good prices for it. Also avocado oil. That's a 
favorite cooking fat of ours in our household. Um, we use it especially for cooking at really high temperatures because um, some of some avocado oils, their smoke point is 525 degrees, so that's really, really high. And I really love using it in our air fryer toaster oven just because um, I don't have to melt the fat first. Um, a lot of the times I use it for making fries, so I just pour it right over the fries and put seasoning on it and it's um, it's ready to go. It's very easy to use. and um, my husband also likes using it for cooking things like eggs because it's um, it's just very light. It it has a neutral flavor. So if you're if you're somebody who's been using vegetable oils for a long time and you want a good replacement, avocado oil is a really great replacement because it's neutral tasting, has a high smoke point. So. I also want to mention the documentary Fathead. I watched that documentary eight years ago and it changed my life. Um, it's by Tom Naughton and he talks a lot about um, the American diet. He, he goes to specialists and doctors, scientists, and they talk about the science of why vegetable oils are bad for you and why saturated fats are actually good for you and I just couldn't believe what I was hearing it's like um, it had been drilled into my head my whole life that saturated fats cause heart disease they're killing us and uh, what he was telling me went completely against everything that I'd ever learned but um, it's backed up by science um, Actually, what we've been told about vegetable oils supposedly being good for you is not backed by science. So it talks about that in his documentary. And I actually got to meet him last November at the Weston A. Price Conference in Baltimore. And it was amazing. It was like meeting my hero. So I'm really grateful for that. And I hope that you guys have found this video to be informative and helpful. Uh, I would love for you to share it and, and subscribe to my channel, um, especially with people who are hooked on vegetable oils and they think they're healthy, because I really want to get the word out there about the importance of switching to healthier fats, and I really think it would make a huge difference in the American diet if people were to simply just make this one switch. It makes a huge difference. Until next time, bye.